Someone is way too hyper. <laughs> hello, my beautiful Nicolettes, and welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. Today I'm gonna be doing a back to school video. I know you guys are probably like, stop it with the back to school, but you know. I like back to school videos. Not really the back to school part, but the back to school videos. I love it. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a back to school DIY or ways to decorate your locker. I do this every single year. It's tradition. This is my third year in a row, so yes. I'll leave my other two down below. Maybe you'll like another one better or something like that. So definitely check my other, my last two years of DIY locker decorations. If you guys like these videos, thumbs it up so I know. When I was in school back in the day, when I was like in elementary school and even like high school, I was all about decorating my locker. I wanted like the cutest locker ever. I used to do like little DIYs. OG Nicoletta. <laughs> Thank you to my best friend Jessica for helping me film it. She has an Instagram, it's at plume.productions. She is a photographer, a pretty good one, so make sure you guys go check her out. And as always, if you guys go over to my Instagram, you follow me and comment on my latest posts, I will spam you as long as your accounts are not private. And before I begin, I just have a random question for you guys. Let me know what year you're going into for school. I'm curious to know, are you done school? Are you in school? Let your girl know. But that being said, let's jump into it. To begin with decorating my locker, I thought it would be really fun to use some like wallpaper. This is just adhesive paper that I got from the dollar store. You can honestly do any kind that you want. I think it's so cool and just such a fun way to spice up your locker. Of course, if you don't want to stick it on with the sticker part, you can just put tape on the back and tape it to your locker so it's easier to come off. So I definitely suggest that, especially if your school is super picky with that stuff. I really thought it would be fun to kind of just decorate my whole locker with putting some wallpaper on it. This next one is gonna be a little DIY that I found on Pinterest actually and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's such a good idea. All you have to do is we're gonna be making a DIY whiteboard and all you have to do is have a plastic plate and I just chose a white one of course. And then you can decorate it any way you want. I just took some gold washi tape and I put it around the edges of the plate or you could put it all around the plate. You can even put whatever you want. Get creative with it, Do your own. put your own personal style into it but once you do that all you have to do is just flip over the plates and you're going to glue gun some magnets so it can stick to your locker of course and then all you do is you just need markers you just can write little notes and you can erase it and it's a little DIY whiteboard for your locker instead of having to buy them Of course, every locker needs a mirror, so I like to buy a mirror every single year and just decorate it, and the way to decorate it, I love to do it, is using washi tape. Of course, you can use little jewels, you can put flowers around it. It really just depends on your own personal style, but I kind of went with a gold theme, gold and purple theme in my locker, so I just made the mirror with the same gold washi tape that we used on the whiteboard. I just wanted everything to kind of match, and I really liked how this turned out. I thought it was super cute. And a mirror always comes in handy during school time. <laughs> so of course, when I finish doing everything, I am just putting it up on my locker and kind of just decorating and organizing it the way I want it to look. But now we are gonna move on to the last little DIY that I made, and it's making little magnets for yourself. So all you have to do is, I just took some binder clips, and I love these ones because they're so colorful, and um, they're so cute and colorful and little. So all I did is I took, took some magnets strips that I got from the dollar store I cut that and glue gunned it to the back of them and then I also took some magnets and glue gunned them to my highlighters you can do this to anything you can do it to pencils you can do it to your makeup products maybe you want your favorite lip gloss so you don't lose it you can really put magnets on the back of anything that you want to decorate your locker and then once I was done doing this of course I just put it onto my locker for those little binder clip magnets that we made I like to put little photos so you can put Polaroids of your friends or with your friends and family or any type of picture. That's just a super cute way to personalize your locker and just also have your loved ones on it and I think it's really fun. And then I just went in and I put some things that I bought, everything actually from the dollar store. So that little purple holder was from the dollar store and I thought it really matched with my theme. And I like to put pencils there, lip gloss, my phone, all this stuff. I think it's really good to have different storage areas for your locker. And then I finished it off with just putting some magnets because you can never have enough magnets if you want to like put up notes or something like that they come in handy 
So as you guys can see, this is what my completed locker looks like on the wall of the locker. I absolutely love how this turned out. Like I said though, I have two other options, so check out those videos. I also bought a locker bin that I got actually from the dollar store and I think this comes in such handy to just kind of make sections in your locker. You can put your notebooks, you can put even like your gym clothes or something like that. So I just put it on the bottom of my locker and of course I picked the purple one and I put all my books and I think these just come in such handy so I definitely recommend getting one for your locker just to keep it more organized. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's Fam Jam Circle uploads every other day here on my channel. And as well as I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!